we are heading out finally from Rochester, Minnesota at around 10 minutes till 9 and we're heading to where to Costco in South Dakota which will take around just under four hours she's she's our first driver today yeah buddy um we were right next to a pizza hut i forgot that <laughs> i mean i'm trying to be vegan um <laughs> but trying. we're going to get food at costco um get some bread for my pb and j's y'all remember keeping it simple you know what i'm saying no one laying down right now going to a gas station to get some some snacks for breakfast because costco opens at 10 and costco opens not because i'm unhealthy it's but exactly it's it's too early for costco apparently that looks like a hotel look at that schmidt music I really want to stop at like a Olive Garden at like dinner time. We can do that. Get some breadsticks. I'm not vegan, y'all. You know. So I am vegetarian. Um, all my life I've been vegetarian. This one hasn't. Sadly, she's been killing animals. I was raised by a meat eating family, but I never really liked red meat. Always have found it disgusting. But yeah. yeah. So, I mean, your boy, your boy uh, gave her some revelations here. Yep. <laughs> it's transformed your life, hasn't it? I I no longer eat meat, and it's better for the animals, the environment, and my own health. How do you feel? The same. I I still don't eat healthy because I didn't do it for my own health. I did it to stop eating murdered animals. But like he said, we're working on eating healthier. We're eating more salad now than we used to. Um, we're trying to go vegan. We're taking steps, but we both love cheese. So it's hard, but we'll get there. On to other news. Uh, my investments are going terrible on Fidelity. Um, it sucks, but hey, that's the stock market. Um, other than that, it's just going to be more travel. Um, hopefully, we miss so many uh, signs for new states. Yeah. Man. Like, <laughs> there was just one time where we're like, oh, we're passing, uh, what was it? <sighs> we passed Minnesota, and we're like, oh, there's a big, big sign right in front of our face. It's and then. Minnesota is great. We'll be back. We'll be back. Um, enjoy this time lapse. We made it to Costco and filling up some gas. Where are we? Uh, where are we heading next? Uh, we just got into South Dakota. We're just going through South Dakota and like probably half of Montana before we stop again. Um, it's just a long straight shot of road. Not much to see. Not much to stop at. Nice. Um, gas for us right now is 186 right there. If you 
you want to see what we bought. We should be good on food for the rest of the trip. Hopefully, that is our absolute hope. So, first off. We got our Caesar salad, okay? We got two bags of it, okay? We got bananas, we got blueberries, we have, of course, coconut milk. Um, got some jam, got some more jam. We have, this bag of ice is taking literally everything up. So, we had to kind of like, we had to push some food out. Uh, we got some dip. Um, and all the other kind of like preservative stuff like chips nuts corn nuts all that good stuff and there's shadow can you go can you all see her she's a great cat but we were doing great we watched the princess bride and um maybe we'll watch some marvel movies i have a documentary by James Baldwin on Netflix to finish called Not Your Negro and then I'm going to finish an audio book called I don't remember what it's called but it's basically a history of the black power movement in America I'm almost done with it I have like an hour left or something like that I'm gonna finish that so yeah I hope you guys are doing well today it is we had a little rain we had a little rain but we out drove it what are we going to listen to what are we listening to oh we, we listened to the this harry styles album and we listened to uh, damn we listened to kendrick lamar and we listened to adhd already by jordan lucas and what did you say we're going to listen to it was j cole uh, 2014 Forest Hills Drive called Waiting Till the Midnight Hour. It's very informative. So I was just told that we have just over 20 hours to go. So let's do it. We are at the edge of South Dakota. Yeah. Yeah, the edge of South Dakota. Um, we're in Belle Forge, and it looks like a, a country town. Look at this. It's pretty cool. You got the mill right there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, kind of like an old style type of town. I love it. It's all right. It's all right. We've had mostly good weather. Very happy for that. I don't know if you guys have seen the car that we're actually driving. That's it right there. We're going to get some more pictures. I think we're on the border of uh, Wyoming. And then hopefully travel through Montana. Clip the corner of Wyoming and then 
we go into Montana. We're in Montana for a very, very, very long time. And then, yeah. and then we're almost home. So. It's exciting. We're, we're 15 hours away from Seattle, just over 15 hours away. Y'all like my hair? Smash a like if you, if you have perfect hair like me. This is great, this is awesome. We're gonna get back to it. 